Okay, guys, getting ready to try out the new burner. This burner, I got a thrift store. It's a, supposed to be a 65,000 BTU burner. It's a Bass Pro Shops turkey burner. It's got the adjustable sides where you can set up for fish fry pot or turkey pot, but I'm going to be using it for, for beer for my boil pot. And uh, one thing, it didn't come with a hose, so I had to go. I went down to Lowe's and I found this gas line here. It's adjustable. Or not, it's, it's not adjustable, but it's got the on off right here. Connects up to your 20 pound bottle. It's uh, braided steel. And one thing, it had the, it had the little jet. Okay, so this brass piece right here has a, a real small hole drilled in it to let the gas out. And it didn't have the burner, did not have a way to adjust the air flow. So I made this, this little metal plate up and I drilled holes in it. And you can see, like there's four holes open right now. And if I turn it, then I got two holes open. On each side, it, it works like that the same way. So we're going to see if this actually works. I'm going to have it wide open for now. And what I'm going to do, when I get it adjusted right, the amount of holes, I'm going to put a washer behind this brass here so that when I tighten down the brass fitting, it'll tighten down my little metal piece. I don't think you can get these. They usually come with the burner. But since I bought this burner sort of second hand, it didn't come with that piece. I got it cheap enough that I can, I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> but it's never been used, you can tell. The uh, paint is still on it everywhere. So we're going to fire it up for the first time. You want to fire it? Where to fire, yeah, Where do you, like? you can uh, see all the holes. It's got like a hole here you can stick your flame through. You ready? Okay, you ready? I'm gonna turn the gas on. I got the gas turned in here. Okay, here it goes. Oh, it blew your flame out. Try lighting it again. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> That's, yeah, that flame is all the way up to here. Let's say I don't have it turned all the way open yet. So this says 10 PSI on this. Hopefully that'll work it. Seems to be working fine. Well, yeah, there we go. But you need it that high. It does have a blue flame to it. Let's try adjusting the air valve on it. See what happens. Of air it in there. Okay, it's starting to turn more yellow. I think. It seems like it wants all those air holes open. So I'm going to tighten it down there. I might make the holes a little bigger just to see how it turns out. But yeah, it's, it has very little. Occasionally you'll see a little bit of yellow in it. Whew, I can feel the heat way up here. I don't think I need to turn it wide open. But when I'm making my beer, that ought to heat it up real good and I want to heat up the inside of the house real bad. And I won't have to worry about boil overs or nothing like that. So if you guys are brewing beer, that's like get one of these I found at second hand for $25. I thought that was a pretty good price. Because normally they're like $80 to $100. I know at the brew store I go to, the, the woman said she was out of them. And she said they're normally $100. But she'll have to see when she gets another batch of them in. She might have to price them higher because inflation, everything's going up with the money printing they're doing. So, here you go, guys. I think that works.
ripped out. Normally it would have a metal plate here and it would have cutouts in it. Not the holes are open. I looked it up online, looked at some pictures, and I figured if I drilled them holes that would work. I noticed as I close off less, you see it kind of turns yellow. I don't know if that's going to show in the video. So it wants more air. Looks like right there, so I can probably crank that down. Right there. Looks good. I'm going to turn it up some more. Wide open. You might need a little more air when it's wide open. That's not too bad. I'm going to turn this off before I burn my porch down. I got a covered porch here. I don't know how that, that heat might get up there without having a pot on here. Might end up catching fire. Are you still burning? No, I turned it off now. It looks like my little. Uh, piece of sheet metal worked. I thought that was a good deal. No. And this, this stainless steel braided like that. They're in the plastic hoses. And that it loads for, I think it was about 20 or $25 for this whole thing. The hose, that little brass fitting in there. The whole deal. Turn that off. This is kind of loose though. It's awfully loose. Yeah. yeah, it does tighten. You turn it all the way left, it kind of has a hard stop, but it's a little wobbly. That's the that was. But anyway, guys, here we go. I got that burner fired up for the first time. I smell the paint burning off of it. I'm going to have to let that cool off for a while. But now i got a place I can uh, cook my beer. Or I could deep fry a turkey if I want to. Alright, take care guys.